Hi friends! I'm not excited about this video today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not excited. I'm not happy about what's happening in my life right now. I suddenly found myself with terrible acne. I have had clear skin my whole life. I'm a grown ass woman and now I have acne. But I feel like we pulled through. We covered it pretty well. You can definitely see like texture over here but it's way better than where we started so um i also tried to do some different techniques to pull my pull the focus away from my skin into my eyes so hopefully um, that kind of helped shift things here so if you want to see how i did this and covered my cute little face today thank you for watching also, before we jump in, hit the like and subscribe button. Actually, I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Subscribe to my channel. I am so freaking mad right now. I cannot believe my skin looks like this. I have always had super clear skin. I've been really blessed with that, but I've also taken really good care of my skin. So, this. This. This is cool. This is cool. Um, actually, we're going to say I am so dedicated to this channel and my followers that I purposely messed up my skin. Mm -hmm. I did this for you. That's such a lie. Oh, I wish. I wish I was that dedicated. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that dedicated. Oh... But the joy of this situation is that it has led me so clearly to the obvious topic of my next video, a how to cover acne tutorial. <sighs> People have a lot worse acne than this, so I need to stop being a brat, but it is a little shocking when you're used to having one skin type and then you don't anymore. So I'm really on the side train, but it's fine. <laughs> Just like my video and subscribe to make me feel better. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay. All right. Let's jump into this video. Okay. So there are a few things that I do differently for acne coverage um, versus my regular clear skin. So I'm going to show you the difference here. So starting off primer, I like the Milk Hydro um primer it's super sticky which what's important to me is i if i'm going to cover this i don't want it coming off and like having a little mountain like seeping out um halfway through the day so i need mine to know like for sure for sure my makeup's not going anywhere i love this um for like an all day primer that's going to keep your makeup exactly where it's at that's what i need today so we're going in with this first And it's like it's and then I just press it into the skin a little bit more too. I want a tad bit more on my forehead because this these babies be going down. I'm fighting you today. I'm fighting you. Next, I'm going in with this little, this is a color correcting concealer. You can skip this step. This is not a half to, but I use color correcting to cover up like the really red pimples. So this is just by NYX. It's not very expensive. It's um, You can find it at Ulta Drugstore brand. And green cancels out red. So I'm going to go in with just a tad of this. And I'm only putting it on the really red ones. Next you can go in with like this color which is gone or this color um, if you want to stick with this palette or I'm going to switch to this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, the cream contour palette I want something just a little bit thicker than that and I'm going to cover up I'm going to use this color right here to cover up the rest of the blemishes this is a little bit thicker and I want there to be when you have a raised pimple you can cover up the color but obviously like 
that mountain's still there. <laughs> Just because you got a little snow in the mountain doesn't mean it's not a mountain, okay? So what we got to do is build a gradual layer of concealer over the pimple so that it kind of slips up gradually instead of like bam, if that makes sense. Make sure you don't wipe all the green off of that though. I feel like I'm being so vain by being sad about this, but it is hard when you're used to having really clear skin and then you don't, so. I know people have way worse skin than this, but I'm also grown. <laughs> I did not even have acne in high school, so to be on this journey right now, <sighs> You know, you just hope you're not going to be there at this point in your life, but you're here. It's fine. Oh my god, we look so much better. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. You can do that with, like, any concealer. I really want to do it with the... NARS has a matte concealer that I was, I was waiting on, but Sephora is backed up. It was supposed to come... Like a week ago and my order isn't coming till uh three more weeks so <laughs> i can't wait <laughs> you know we gotta move on so we'll try that product another day hopefully not on my acne hopefully it will be gone okay so now that i have all my spots covered you can see we are gonna go in with foundation i'm gonna use a beauty blender again so this is the foundation i'm using is the tarte Amazonian clay foundation. This is a full coverage foundation, but it is oil free, which I feel like is helpful with acne. I am super oily right now, so I do not need, which is so funny. It's the opposite of my life always. Um, so this is good for more oily skin and it is more full coverage, which is what I'm looking for today. How I do it is take my setting spray. This is a damp beauty blender. I already got it wet, but then I just spray an extra little layer just to make sure it really sets in. And then, and then we just pound it out. I know you know how to do that. <laughs> And just make sure you're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And not, if you're wiping, you're gonna wipe the concealer off. So, so I'll show you how to make this look really long lasting because that's what I want with, when it comes to, obviously I want my acne covered, but I want it to stay covered. And I'm not a like carrying makeup with me type person. I'm, no, I'm never gonna be reapplying, honestly. I don't reapply ever through my day. Maybe I should, but I don't, so I well, need it to last. And it is hard for me to not let um, the acne affect my self-confidence. I feel like I cannot go anywhere <laughs> or even like, I feel like I couldn't even film another video looking like this. So this is hard. I wanna get on here and give some like speech about how you should let your acne define you and be confident no matter what, but I'm not there yet. I'm not there. <laughs> Someone teach me. Okay, you can definitely skip this part if you want. Hopefully this is enough coverage for you right here. I have a few little spots that I just feel like are, let's see, they're just still peeking through a little bit. So I'm gonna take my um, Naked Skin Concealer. I'm not gonna use this applicator though. I'm gonna go in with my brush. This is the Morphe G10. I love this for concealer. And I'm just gonna barely cover the last few spots. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Do my eyebrows, I'll be right back. Yeah, I made my <laughs> I made my brows dark today. I used the medium brown color too. I we're we're on a brow journey. We're on a brow journey. 
whatever maybe people won't notice my acne and they'll be like eyebrows whatever i'll take it you know gotta do what you gotta do out there it's a rough world okay i'm gonna take the um p louise base in rumor 01 and i just do it like a dab like this teeny tiny use that for my eyeshadow primer we'll still come back and finish the face i promise i just want a little eyeshadow on oh i love this palette mm, it's taking my breath away this is the carly bible anastasia beverly hills palette if you don't know where you been but i'm gonna go in with chai Ooh. Chai. don't i'm gonna go in <laughs> i'm gonna go in with chai <sighs> um if you don't know carly bible she is my one of my very favorite youtube makeup artist she's the very first youtuber i started watching and she kind of inspired me to get into makeup and oh my gosh i love her so much she came out with a palette quite a few years ago um with bh cosmetics which is a lower end brand but it was so affordable and such good eyeshadow i i bought it for everyone i loved that eyeshadow so much and then in 2019 she came out with this palette and it's just like a grown-up version with such a high high-end brand i'm like i'm proud of her <laughs> next i'm going in with this color so much better bowie bowie is that how you say his name i think that's right these are all the names of her cats this isn't going to be a dramatic look or anything i just I'm so putting a little bit of color. I live in this neighborhood where our houses are really close together and my neighbor's window, and so I'm sitting right here, I'm sitting in front of a window and it faces my neighbor's window. I know they see me over here just like all my like, I have my ring light, talking to myself. They're about to put their house up for sale. It's probably why, honestly. Like, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> this girl's crazy. Just kidding, I love them. <laughs> kind of kidding. They're probably concerned for their safety. I'm gonna do this little shimmer shade right here. I love this shade. I use it all the time. I just put it on with my finger, throw it on the lid, and go. Okay, I need to throw on just a little bit of liner using the Kylie gel liner. Okay, I slightly jacked up my eyeliner, but it's an acne tutorial, not an eyeliner tutorial, so we'll move on. Okay, I'm just gonna admit my fault right now. I would not have waited to set my face and do eyes. I usually do foundation, eyes, and then come back to face. When recovering acne and using a little bit more product, honestly, I wouldn't do that. I don't think that was the best decision. Oh, it's just my habit. I'm just used to doing it in that order. But it would have been better to set my face right after I put the um, last layer of concealer on because I kind of wiped some of it off when I was accidentally touching my face. So just being honest. Just do as I say on this channel, not as I do. Let's finish all of our wet products first. So I'm gonna do my under eye concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This was really brightening up our face, kind of drawing attention. That's why I said in my concealer video, use this concealer to draw attention where you want it to be drawn to, which is eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to set my 
under eye concealer with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is so, so, so important. If you you're, you if you use, if you, like, a, if you use a foundation and a concealer, it really needs to be set. Otherwise, it's going to crinkle and it's going to come off throughout the day. Here's my trick. Here's my next trick. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. If you're wanting super long-lasting makeup that's going to last all day a trick is pause right here and set your face after you finish your powder before you do bronzer and blush okay sometimes the wiping motion of the bronzer can break away your foundation a little bit so if you fully set it you don't have that problem I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Benefit bronzer Something you might want to think about with acne coverage is staying away from those warmer tones or those really red tones because um, that could pick up the pigmentation from your acne and bring that out. I'm going to go in with the Kylie uh, Press Illuminating Powder for highlighter. If you have a lot of acne right here, you might consider skipping this step or this is a very subtle bronzer or sorry, very subtle highlighter I'm using. You can use a more subtle one if you do a really bright one, which I'm gonna skip over to doing the Fenty Beauty. I want a little bit more than this. But if you really highlight, a lot of that um, texture is gonna come through. And so, I mean, it's up to you. You do what you want, girl. But something to think about. And then I'm gonna do the Anastasia Beverly Hills On Mute Liquid Lipstick. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't think I've tried this yet. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. I have not used that color. I love that. Okay, one last thing, I'm gonna throw lashes on because I just want even more attention drawn to my eyes and away from my skin. Okay, lashes are on. I just feel like that just draws attention like between that bright concealer and the lashes just really draws attention to your eyes. Not so much focused on the face. I didn't do like a really strong contour or bright, bright, bright blush to draw attention to my skin. So hopefully that's a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna spray my face. <sighs> Hopefully I never have to freaking film another tutorial like this one. I did not like it. But, I mean, we are pretty freaking concealed. Yeah. I mean, you can see the texture, but I mean, she's cute still. She cute. She cute. So. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch up with you next time. Bye. Um, let's jump back in. Okay, we can't say that. Let's, and then I'm going to go back in with this one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's kind of all over me. Excuse me one second. so salty because I have acne right now. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay. Am I just making, am I just on here just like making stuff up all day? Maybe. I just tweezed some eyebrow hairs. I couldn't make it any longer. I thought I could make it through quarantine. I can't do it. It hurts. I don't like doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I think I just burped. That was cute. I need to cover that shit, so. No, in the meantime, I need to cover that. I just don't want to say shit. I just say shit. I'm going to say shit.